So it's been reported that you were the quintessential piece <laughs> in getting Arch Manning here at Texas. Can you just kind of shed light on what y'all's relationship is like? Yeah. Bro, like, it would be like one of your teammates, like, um, you know, just taking him out to lunch, taking him out to dinner, and then showing him Kansas City or showing him Arizona, mm -hmm. um, you know, a place where you got drafted, um, and, and just, you know, him being new to that place. And that's that's what it was. Like, he was already one of my teammates, I felt like, because he was such a, you know, just a good guy, a good guy to be around. Um, you know, everybody loves him, not just because of his name, but because of his personality. Um, and, you know, he's really smart, uh, really cool and just fun to be around. So that's kind of how I, I treated it. I was like, no, this is just my friend, like one of my teammates, I feel like and I'm just showing him around my city. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the the coolest part was like everybody was like, what did you do? Um, and I would, I would joke with people. I'd be like, yeah, I took them to wherever the, the pretty girls were. <laughs> um, but really all it was is just like, he loves football so much. He wants mm -hmm. this university to be great so much. Like there was times where it was Saturday night and the coaches wanted us to take them out to Sixth Street, but mm -hmm. we straight up sat in the recovery room and like sat in the boots and just talked. During his official visit. During his official visit. <laughs> okay, I kid yeah. you not. We were That's in a the, different level of yeah. dedication right there. We were yeah. in the recovery room. Mm -hmm. We throw on the boots, the compression mm -hmm. boots, and we straight up just talk about football the whole night. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to go out and do all that stuff. Like, I don't want everybody taking pictures of me. I just want to talk about ball. Mm -hmm. I came here for ball and I came here to make a decision about where my future is going to be. Um, and we just talked about the University of Texas and how we can get back to when you were playing. So um, that was that was that was the coolest thing to me. So I'm assuming no frat houses, no Sixth Street, just <laughs> good eating, sightseeing, and recovery boots. Yeah, there were there was times he there was times he was out at Sixth Street and out of the yeah. frat house, but. I think that was just more so people, you know, wanting them to get out. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think he really wanted to do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I know he loves seeing people mm -hmm. and I know he, he knows a lot of people in the fraternities and whatnot, but, um, he didn't want to do all that party and he wanted to come here to talk about ball. So what did you know him, uh, before the official visit or what kind of, how did the coaches, I guess, pair y'all up in terms of you hosting him? Yeah, well, he, he's like a super football junkie. Mm -hmm. Um, so he knows everything about like Texas high school football. And even though he played in yeah, Louisiana, even, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what I mean when I say he's a football junkie for mm -hmm. sure. But, uh, he came up to me one of the times that he was on an unofficial mm -hmm. and he was like, bro, you're tough. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, he's been watching your tape. Yeah. Okay, that's and funny. I was just a little walk on freshman, mm -hmm. um, trying to survive. And I was like, Arch Manning's coming up to me and saying, I'm tough. Like, hey, I must be doing something right. <laughs> uh, but was we kind of before or after the scholarship. This was before. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we talked about the state game and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, and we kind of just talked about, football and, and whatnot. And, you know, we traded numbers and we started texting here and there. And, um, you know, I was kind of a guy that he could, he could trust because, um, he knew I wasn't trying to sell him to come to Texas. He knew I wasn't one of the coaches that was like, not, maybe not telling him the full truth. I was just a guy that was here to be his friend. And I think that was the, the biggest thing for him.